Welcome back, Blade fans. Well, <laughs> go big or go home? What do you think? <laughs> Here is the latest, as far as I know, Vostid drop. <laughs> Call it a drop, an entry, a uh, release. This is the Vostid Gator, yes. And um, does it look like an alligator? Possibly. It could look like an eye and that could look like the snout. Okay. But as far as I know, and again, that's my caveat and qualification. far as I know, this is the largest knife that Vostid has released to date. It is a full four inch blade, maybe technically just a skosh under that. We're going to measure it up soon. But when we look at another large Vostid knife, the Labrador, that was released fairly recently in 2023, I believe you can see <laughs> that that large Labrador knife, which has a um, three and three quarter inch blade, pales in size comparison to this four inch. Yeah, I'm going to call that four inches blade to the handle with a four inch cutting edge. Yeah, so Vostid has done it. Enough messing around with almosts. This is a large beast of a knife. And we will do some comparisons, but let's just get the measurements out of the way, let's say. Overall length of the Gator is 9.3, we're going to call that. With a four inch blade, as I said, and in inches, we have a handle of 0.58, not bad for a hefty knife, and 0.13 for the blade thickness, which is in millimeters, 3.3 millimeters. So thick enough, but not overly thin. And for the weight, what will the weight be? Drum roll, please. We have a weight of 6.22 ounces. And you're going to say, well, that is heavy. You know, that's not an ounce per inch, blah, 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 blah. Well, maybe you won't say that. I want to poke fun of what you're not thinking or saying. Okay. So... Yeah, 6.22 ounces. However, it is weight relieved. They did make that effort. There you go. Series of holes right there. And smaller ones up the top on the uh, liner lock side. Speaking of liner lock, look at the meaty liner they put on this knife, and that may be contributing to the weight. They didn't want to wimp out on us. We got some uh, soft sort of jimping there. We've got a nice relief. Got beautiful jimping, file-like jimping, I like to call it, on the top, closely spaced and just deep enough. And we have several methods to open. We got the back flipper. Takes a little push on it because of the leverage situation, even though that's ahead of the pivot. We have a front flipper, which I did slowly because I'm kind of reaching around the camera. Um, and we have both a thumb hole and a reverse flick opening window there. I like that term, opening window been presented in some reviews recently. Um, blade shape and uh, profile, I would say kind of sheep's footy. 
you know, kind of got that drop of a snout there that is more abrupt than you might see on a Warncliffe. Or perhaps you want to call it a Warncliffe. I don't know. I'm calling it a sheep's foot and with a belly, with a very gradual belly. And that is a high, flat grind. What did they use for a steel on this puppy? Well, they used Sandvik 14C28N. And I believe that kind of kept the price down. What is the price on this guy? Well, this one came directly from the Vosteed website. I had to have it quick, and they were the only ones carrying it. So you can see the price is a very modest $69. That is a great price. And I don't think too many of you are going to complain that that's too much for a Sandvik steel knife. I mean, Sandvik steel, I've seen knives in that steel for well over $100 offered by different manufacturers. And the um, interesting thing is when I uh, just pulled up that Vosteed website, by the way, they were very quick in getting this to me. I think I had it within a week from coast to coast. Um, I'm seeing this one, too, that's also listed as a Gator coming soon. Uh, $69 also. So that it looks like they're going to be doing another variant of it. We're going to have to wait and find out. Now, uh, as far as this one goes, it is uh, coming in all of these colors. You can see that it uh, comes in a blue and satin, which is what I got. Comes in a black and satin. Comes in a green and stone washed and a brown and stone washed so if you don't like the really nice i think satin finish on this knife they did a great job for a 70 dollars knife uh, if you don't like that satin finish you can get it stone washed and certainly that's going to hold up with uh, less marring and marks um, jumping into another part of uh, what's going on with this knife um some people when they saw that there this was going to have a frag kind of grenade grip pattern to the micarta and yes by the way it's micarta and not g10 this one being blue um people say well you know grenade grips or uh, frag grips they tear up my pocket not so with this one they did an excellent job in not overly machining that micarta we have smooth bumps on this one, lots of texture, 3D milled, but that really doesn't bite my skin at all. It's just enough for grip. I think they did a fantastic job on those grips. So if you're worried about this kind of pattern, chewing up your pocket or your hand, I really don't think it's going to happen with this. Really almost no bite, just some grip. The clip um almost deep carry and flat screws and yep it is inset and they give you a spacer or a plate for the left side of the knife to fill that when it's not being used switch it over to the right side if you choose to go lefty with this we've got uh, double barrel spacers no back spacer and again look at the thickness of the liners great great job on those liners we've got a little bit of jimping left over here when it's open and that is just enough to use as i wouldn't call it a finger choil you got a little bit of a choil there but you've got a platform if you want it to choke up and certainly this is a nice working knife you can get the tip into play really really nicely now we are going to go into a little cutting demo well, here is the paper, and I haven't tried this yet, so let's see what we get. Let me back out. Okay, there's your high flat grind. Whoa. This just slips right through. Oh, man, that is an edge. 
they did a great, great job with that. One of the uh, smoothest cutters I've seen in quite a while. Um, great job, Vostid. Uh, speaking of great jobs, what you get with every Vostid knife is this nice aluminum case. Is it aluminum? No, it's steel. Nice steel case um, with the Vostid logo there. You pop it open. Inside is a nice pouch with the Vostid logo sewn in. Very nice. Fits the knife well. And you get all kinds of goodies, and they usually relate to the name of the knife. So uh, what do we have here? Oh, we've got an alligator and a little guy running from the alligator. That's cool. We have the Vostid patch with uh, Velcro. And um, here is your support card if you need to get in touch with them about any warranty stuff. So far, I haven't. And there's your return replacement info. And right here, we have all of the specs that I just ran across. So they do give the blade length as 3.98 inches. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll use when I pop up my stats. Flat grind, satin, my car to handle, liner lock, and Sandvik. Very cool. So for comparisons, earlier I had out the Labrador only as an example of a Vostid that was probably the largest or one of the largest they came out with before the Gator. And I've got these lined up by my eye not looking through the camera evenly at the pommel and i've got i'm getting about three quarters of an inch longer overall and if i line up the handles getting about a half inch roughly so yeah if this is a three and three quarter inch blade that's a four inch blade that's about right beautiful knife in the labrador much lighter um, and still, I think we're working with, uh, hidden liners on this one. Yeah. But still liners that are substantial, not quite as thick as on the Gator. Uh, if we put another large knife in the picture, one that I reviewed fairly recently, here is the Stinger XL. I think it's called the Stinger XL by Off-Grid Knives. And for those of you that know this knife or have it, we're talking about pretty much the same. I think the Stinger XL is, yeah, just a skosh longer overall. Put that blades right in there, same length. Same thing with this one. I think we've got just a tiny tad under four inches. No, nope, actually a tad over four inches with this one. Interesting. So nice comparison there for those of you that know off-grid knives. And um, just for plain vanilla comparisons, there is the Griptilian by Benchmade, a knife that I use for lots of comparisons. And boy... <laughs> Uh, looks looking like uh, an inch and a half longer or so overall. Griptilian, nice little, about a three and a half inch knife or so. But that is the Vostid Mega Large, Mega Sharp, Mega High Grind Gator. How does it feel in the hand? Um, they're decent ergos. It locks in pretty well. I'm locked in against that uh, handle right there. And I've got plenty of handle left over. If I go to a point down grip, not bad. Um, not real comfortable. Well, if I go way back here, it is. So why you would want to hold it that way, I'm not sure for this style of knife and 
this blade profile. This is more of an EDC and a cutter. Although you do have a pretty decent point there if you need to do some piercy stuff. And uh, we even got some paper residue on the blade there. So great knife. Uh, I like what they did. Uh, I like the price point. And you can get yours by ordering directly from Vosteed. I will leave you the link. I'm sure these are going to show up soon at uh, other dealers like uh, Knife Center, White Mountain, Blade HQ, and so forth. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back soon.